guys, it's Sue and welcome to my channel. <laughs> it is 2016. Oh my god, can you guys believe that we are already like that far in the future? So I promised you guys I would start this year off by doing Q&A. You guys have let you ask me so many questions. I'm so, so excited to answer all of them. So let's get into the video. <laughs> First question is from Twitter, at Queen Jagger. And her question is, if you could travel to any place in the entire world, where would you go? That's like one of the hardest questions because my goal in life is to see the entire world, to explore all those different countries and cultures. But if I could go to one place right now, let's say Japan, because I think Japan's like a really exciting and like interesting place to see. And I love all these cute things that they have. And I just really want to go to Japan at some point. So that would probably be it right now. The next question is from at YouTubers like Sue. Oh my God, I love seeing all those like fan accounts on Twitter and Instagram which is like the cutest thing ever when you guys create fan accounts for me it's like so cute I love that and I always try to follow you guys back and I love interacting with you just like DMing you back and all that just like my favorite thing in the entire world her question is what is your favorite experience of 2015 and that's like the easiest thing ever my favorite experience of 2015 is the time that I went to Disneyland for the first time in my entire life that I love Disney and everything Disney on my 20th birthday I finally I went to Disneyland for the very first time. It was the bad thing ever. Honestly, Disneyland is actually the happiest place in the entire world. The next question is from Adelani's boss, and her question is, "I love you. Oh, I love you too. You guys are so cute. Do you have a boyfriend? No. I am okay dating my phone. It's always there for me. So, relationship goals." <laughs> All right, the next question is from Atsu's Roses, and her question is, what are you looking for in a boyfriend? So that pretty much fits the question before. Well, what am I looking for in a boyfriend? I'm definitely looking for real values, and I'm more the, you know, old-fashioned type of relationship, type of girl, top, top, top. Oh my God, how many times do I say type right now? Oh, honesty, loyalty, trust, and it's kind of sad because nowadays lots of people just get into relationships just for the sake of having one, just for the sake of having a boyfriend and a girlfriend, which to me is, I mean, whatever floats your boat, but I would not do that. I'd rather like wait for someone that I really love and that's really, you know, kind of my best friend and lover at the same time. So that's pretty much what I'm looking for. I'm looking for someone that loves me for who I am, not just for looks. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like a hopeless romantic, so. The next question is from at Kidrell's Fries and oh my god, I love your username. Her or his question is which Disney princess do you relate to the most? That is such a hard question, oh my god. I am like insanely clumsy and I think Anna from Frozen is pretty much a person that I could relate to. He's just like, you know, like really happy and bubbly all the time, but at the same time, she's like really happy, but she's just really looking for love. And it's kind of like me, but also to Rapunzel because she's like that quirky person. I'm definitely just like her. But I also have a little bit of Elsa because she's like slaying like fierce. And I think I'm like a mixture of Rapunzel and Anna and Elsa. So like Rapana, Rapanelsa. The next question is from Ed Adriana Love Yo One Yo 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 <laughs> And her question is Thoughts on the new Star Wars Besides the fact that I'm kinda of wearing Princess Leia's buns right now I have to admit that I've never watched any of the Star Wars movies I'm pretty sure you guys are judging me right now Because it's like Disney and all that But I never really felt like watching them I don't know if I should start I'm like really upset with like everything Harry Potter So I'm not sure if Star Wars would be something for me But I could give it a try I'm not sure, should I give it a try guys? You guys comment down below if I should give it a try The next question is from Ed1012 underscore The same number again that's really interesting. If you could have any superpower, what would it be and why? Okay, okay. Well, if I could have any superpower, the ability of being invisible, because I love pranking people and I could prank so many people. Oh my god, it would be like the bad thing ever. I could like prank anyone like 24 7. Oh my god, yes. Pretty much being invisible, and that was my dog. What? Shut up. Another superpower would probably be. An actual superpower would probably be flying because how awesome would it be to just like fly wherever you want to. Goodbye flying away from your bullshit. <laughs> Maybe like also shooting green stuff out of your hand like Shiga from Kim Possible. Like, 
Where's Nami? The next question is from Adfans underscore Sue. Oh my god, I love you guys. All those fan accounts are like the cutest things ever. I love you guys so much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, favorite books and favorite singer. Favorite books, definitely Harry Potter. All time favorite singer, I may be old fashioned, but I love Frank Sinatra. To me, Frank Sinatra is like such a great artist. His songs are like so deep and his lyrics and everything in his voice is just like really calming to me. Add love YouTuber Sue. Aww. And her question is what is your favorite food and color? My favorite food is definitely grilled chicken. I love Caesar salad with grilled chicken. Oh my god, I love healthy food so much. It's like my favorite thing in the entire world. Yay, food! Ah. Ah. Next question. Add Katie Milan. Will you date me? Yes, I will happily be yours because then I won't be single anymore. Add Alyssa Love You Two One, and her question is: ideal wedding for me and ideal engagement for me. My ideal engagement, like having someone ask me to marry them, would probably be in front of the Cinderella Castle in Disneyland or Disney World, and then having the guy that I love and then loves me ask me to marry him. You could be hundred ninety percent sure that I would say yes. I think. Promise rings are like the cutest things ever. Like having someone giving you a promise ring before getting engaged in front of this castle and then getting engaged in front of the same castle again. The perfect thing ever. <laughs> it, is, it would be so perfect. Oh my god. My ideal wedding would probably be like on a beach. Oh my god, it would be so beautiful like getting married at a beach. Oh my god. I just want to get married now like... <sighs> At Sky Blue five three one, and her question is: Do you have any stretch marks on your body? I do have stretch marks. They're not really visible anymore because you know it's been a while since I lost that much weight. The stretch marks are nothing bad. They're just like signs of you fighting and signs of you reaching your goals. And they're part of you. Your body is so beautiful. So. Never feel ashamed of anything, of your body, of yourself. You're so unique and beautiful, so just a hats up for that. The next question is from F. Taylor Rich, and her question is, why don't you eat dinner, and what time would you normally stop eating anything? You guys have asked me like a million times why I don't eat dinner. Well, it's just a personal thing. It has nothing to do with me wanting to lose weight, because I don't personally like eating late and I can't really sleep when I eat lots of food before going to bed so that's just like a personal thing for me. It's not about when you eat stuff, it's about how much you eat and how many calories. You need like a certain amount of calories a day to work but if you eat more than you actually need then you're gonna gain weight but if you don't eat more, if you just eat as much as you need you won't gain weight, you will keep it. The next question is from at Beth McGuire. Her question is, what did you actually eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Can you please do a video for that? I love you, beautiful. I love you too. <laughs> love you. I did two videos on breakfast and lunch. So breakfast is right here and lunch is right here. So go check them out. Next question is from at Melania Delia. Delia? Melania Delia? What? <laughs> If you, sorry, if you could eat just one sort of fruit for the rest of your life, what would it be? Probably oranges or apples. I love freshly squeezed orange juice. It's like the best thing ever. I always have that like every single day for lunch. What do you think about anxiety and how tall are you? I do suffer from anxiety and from panic attacks, so I think it's a horrible thing and I don't think anyone and this world needs it. You're not alone, there are so many people out there. Myself that thought I was alone, that was weird, that was a freak, that was feeling anxious in situations where I wasn't supposed to feel scared. Like, what is happening? Why do I have a panic attack? Why do I feel like that? But so many people have it, so it's nothing to be scared and feel ashamed about. Get help. Because getting help, first getting help is so important because there will be lots of people that have advice on that and will be able to help you better than friends. How tall are you? I am 5'4 right now. The next question is from Ashley Osorar. Uh, I gave up. Was there a specific event that triggered your lifestyle change? I got bullied for a long time. People always used to call me names, used to talk about how chubby I was and I was really feeling bad, I hated myself. I just came to that point where I woke up and was like, I don't want to be that person anymore. I want to change. I want to be the best version of myself that I can be. And I want to be proud of myself. I finally want to love myself. 
and that was the point where I want to change where I started changing. If you want to know how I did that house weight, go check out the main video right here. Ha! Do it, do it. What inspires your fashion sense? I don't really have an inspiration. I don't really look up what celebrities were. I pretty much wear stuff to express myself. So I don't think I need a permission from anyone to wear what I wear. My favorite store to shop at is... You guys can go gas it. Five seconds. You're right! My favorite store is BB. That was the... Ah! That was the video. I hope you guys liked it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to like this video. It's the same thing too. If you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to my channel because there will be loads of videos coming. So make sure to do that. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys are looking forward to this year because I definitely am. See you guys soon. I love you. Bye! <laughs>